Now to a major reversal in the fight to resume cruises from Florida. At least for now, a judge has ruled Norwegian Cruise Line can mandate passengers be vaccinated in order to sail. It goes against a Florida law that bans businesses from requiring so-called vaccine passports. And Mark Lehman joins us live from Port Canaveral this morning. Mark, this decision could have an impact on other cruise lines as well. Yeah, with Norwegian allowed to ask for proof of vaccination, other cruise lines could also try and move in that direction. Uh, the judge's decision is likely to draw backlash from Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been one of the big voices against vaccine requirements for, pa for passengers. It's a decision that could have a major impact on the return to cruising in the Sunshine State. On Sunday, a federal judge granted Norwegian Cruise Line's request to require proof of vaccination from passengers, something Governor DeSantis has fiercely opposed for months. You don't want to create separate classes of citizens based on whether somebody received vaccine. The judge stating Norwegian has demonstrated that public health will be jeopardized if it's required to suspend its vaccination requirement. The cruise line CEO responding, saying we welcome today's ruling that allows us to sail with 100 percent fully vaccinated guests and crew, which we believe is the safest and most prudent way to resume cruise operations amid this global pandemic. All of this comes as business is picking back up at Port Canaveral. They had separate rooms for people that weren't vaccinated and they had separate seats for people that weren't vaccinated. So they did keep people and those must have been like The Carnival Mardi Gras returning from its first revenue sailing on Saturday. Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas left last night and the Disney Dream is set to leave later today. The question now is what kind of impact will this recent decision have on future sailings? Now here's a live look at the Disney Dream, which is set to depart just before four this afternoon. As for the preliminary injunction allowing proof of vaccination, well today we're expecting to learn the state's response to all this and if that ruling will be challenged in court. For now, reporting live at Port Canaveral, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark. And with almost all new cases continuing to be among the unvaccinated, Orange County is making it easier to get the shots. Today, leaders are expected to announce they're moving the vaccination site at Barnett Park to Camping World Stadium. Mayor Jerry Deming says he doesn't want long lines for COVID testing to deter people from getting the vaccine. What I'm optimistic about, I know that this crisis will pass. I, I know that if we listen to the experts and we respond accordingly, if we mask up, if we get vaccinated, this crisis will be over sooner than later. I spoke with the mayor in depth about the virus on the weekly. If you'd like to watch the full interview, just head to clickorlando.com slash weekly.